Yet another Hops Against 19 virtual happy hour. We are all together once again with our good friends, Ken McMullen, who is down below me, I believe. Hello, Ken. Pay attention. All right. <laughs> He's got a beer. What you got? What you got beer? What? We're cutting out. What beer do you have? Uh, I'm... Sketchbook. Grudz, uh, Grudziski. Grudziski. Yeah. Smoked wheat. Smoked wheat. Nice big Polish tall beer. glass. Beautiful, my friend. That's one of my favorites. You know why I keep doing this, Phil? Why? <laughs> <laughs> and it does me too. <laughs> um, and then over, over to my left is a good friend from Malted Tales, Mr. Jay Rizicki. Hello, Jay. Hello, Where have you gone? I am drinking a little bit of sunshine, in my opinion. The Distille. whole five ale from Distille, yes. Beautiful. I'm well, trying to remind myself that it's beautiful somewhere, if not here. <laughs> there you go. And I've got two women. But that's enough about my love life. No, I have <laughs> two women from Glarus Brewing Company. I'm going to get that open. And as I pour that... I'm going to introduce the guy who is below you, Jay, only in this picture here now, who appears to have had a problem with a, a, an algae growth problem in the brewery. <laughs> Looking all green and with a delightful um, Buffalo Bill look to him is Mr. Steve Camp from Evil Horse Brewing down in Crete. Welcome, Steve. Cheers. Cheers. What are you drinking, Steve? I'm drinking a trot hopple. I just went and poured myself one. And what is that for the folks who don't know Evil Horse Beer? It's our IPA. It's our uh, American IPA. Beautiful. Do we know why you're green? Well, okay. This is what the official story is going to be. So <laughs> the whole shelter-in-place thing happened the day before St. Patrick's Day. Our, our head bartender wanted to do green beer. And you know what? We've been holding on to this stuff for so long, it exploded and turned the whole place green. All right. Good, good, good of, uh, story, <laughs> I have to tell you. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'd like to welcome Steve. And as I say, he is one of the folks who are from breweries that's quite far south from where I am. It's close to you, though, isn't it, uh, Jay? Because you're in LaGrange, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it's closer to me than you, but it's still about probably half an hour away. Um, the day I actually stopped by you uh, two months ago when I bought this shirt, and unfortunately, I went to open Outcry first, and Will gave me way too much beer. <laughs> so by the time I got to you guys, I'm like, I was a little tipsy, so I'm like, I've got to have one. Checked out the place. You weren't there. It was a Sunday. Um, it could have been longer than two months ago, but... Um, awesome place and the feel i got was like a, a a pub like not a brewery feeling and not in a bad way like um all the people that were sitting at the bar knew each other they were all chatted up this is when football was still on so the bears were on the tv i think um it was a great feeling and i can't remember what beer i had but i enjoyed it but i didn't want to have more than one because i still had to drive back home to the grange park and i didn't want to have any accidents so uh jay um jay steve uh, it was interesting that Jay would say that it's like a pub. I know when I've been down there, which uh, is, is not as frequent as I'd like to, because I do enjoy your British style beers. And for those of you who uh, don't know, Steve won the uh, Britain Yankee Barley Wine Show uh, a while back. You can tell us about that in a second. But what are your favorite beers to brew then, uh, Steve? Traditional, traditional styles. We don't do a lot of fruit beers or flavored beers. We do. We have a, a best bitter. Uh, we've got an American IPA. We've got a Maybach fermenting behind me here. Um, I pretty much do more traditional styles. We have a really nice half of Weizen that uh, people quite enjoy. But yeah. So how has the sales been going for you? Well, the carryout sales, we have been keeping our social distancing going. Um, our uh, package sales and growler sales have been way up since this whole thing started. Um, so that's been good. It's kind of surprising that, that people are, are that thirsty. I've been delivering 
delivered a few half barrels to people. We are doing some limited delivery within five miles, although I think I had to go 12 this afternoon. But uh, yeah, we are trying to keep our distance and uh, still keep people, you know, loaded with beer. So, so are people coming by and, and really, you know, they're ordering ahead or are they just stopping by and saying, shouting through the door, give me some beer. <laughs> some of both. Uh, primarily people are, you know, we, we're doing a lot of growler sales and we'll take their, their growler and we'll clean it, give them a, a, a fresh one. Um, but like I said, we don't try not to let too many people in at once. And when people are here, they have really kept their, their distance from everybody else. So, it's been a good thing so far. Uh, and we're doing, people want curbside, we'll do curbside. Um, like I said, we're doing a few deliveries. Uh, primarily people are just coming in. And, and then we sanitize everything after we get people in here. So, you know, it's just continually cleaning stuff. Just make sure nobody gets sick. Yeah, I, I'm not 100% familiar with the history of you guys. Um, how, how many years you've been in business and how many years have you been with the company or have you been there from the beginning? I've been here from the beginning. Um, this on April 29th will be our fourth year. That was going to be our anniversary party that weekend. Um, so as everything else is canceled, that's canceled. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've been here for four years. I've been here probably five. The tanks, we did all the staging ourselves and put the whole place together. So uh, yeah, I started probably... Oh, in November, the prior 2015. You got anything new coming up? Any new brews? <clears throat> yeah, we've got a Maybach coming up. Uh, we haven't done a Maybach before. But as, as Phil said, we're in the far south suburbs. Um, what I'm finding is people really like strong lager down. So we've been keeping – we've got a Doppelbach on right now. I think you guys had that in, uh, at your place last year. Um, well, in – because yep. they sell out so fast, I did a Maybach just to uh, keep up with the trend. However, you know, uh, on-premise on premise drinking has really uh, slowed down. This is probably the first beer anybody had in, in three weeks. So you, you have fermenters behind you. What is in those? Well, let's see. Our American Light Lager, none the wiser, is in the first one. Oh, we did a um, – Jay was talking. He went to Open Outcry. We're, we do a thing called the Dixie Highway Brewery Trail. Um, we did a uh, Russian Imperial Stout with the seven breweries that are on the Dixie Highway Brewery Trail, um, which it's sitting here in the, in the second fermenter. Uh, the Maybach is in the third one. We also were doing a uh, – all the breweries in Will County – we're supposed to be doing a Habitat for Humanity project. And uh, there was a beer fest at Route 66 Raceway planned in May, and I suppose that's canceled. Well, we've got the pale ale for that event in the fermenter, and then I've got my Scottish ale in the, th in the fifth one. Scottish ales are my favorite you know, right now. I, I know you were – I, I was just going to say, I know you guys were a lot of beer to small towns out in the uh, – west and central illinois mm -hmm. and, and um you know those little towns don't have breweries imagine they have liquor stores but are any of the bars selling packaged stuff are they filling growlers are, are you still getting to sell beer to any of them no our wholesale sales are virtually no did we haven't sold anything in three weeks so um yeah that's we have i know uh, one of our accounts in joliet heroes west bought a pallet of growlers. I know he has a large inventory of beer, so I know he was selling growlers. Aside from that, we really yeah. haven't had any contact with our wholesale accounts. I did say that uh, you had a barley wine that uh, was one of our top ones. Of course, you know, it's, it's not quite as good as Wicked Googly, of course, which you can still get from Ken's Brewery. Now, right. <laughs> tell us a bit about your barley wine. Well, the barley wine, again, was a traditional English-style barley wine. Uh, it was, it's called Grandpa's Big-Ass Barley Wine. It was a home brewer's recipe that we ramped up. Um, and like you said, last year it, was the, uh, it won the 
the, the barley wine uh, show on the Britney Yankee podcast. Um, but it it's different in that it's not barrel aged. Where most of the most of the ones we tried were barrel aged. I you know what? There's nothing wrong with unbarrel aged beers either. People you know some somehow every strong beer ends up in a barrel now, which we have plenty of that here as well. <laughs> um, but uh, Yes, it was an it was an unbarrel aged English style barley wine, kind and of I, a I, Thomas, Thomas Hardy style. And and we'll have a bottle of Wicked Googly for you. Uh, we'll keep that on hand. I know I, I've got to buy a few more from Ken because <laughs> somehow okay. all mine tended to get drunk or given away. I don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> what I would like to find out from you is. Uh, and I always like to ask this because you're the only man I know who can pronounce it. You have an absolutely wonderful Russian Imperial Stout, which I would recommend everybody try at least once in their lifetime. Tell us about that. Thank you. We actually have three different versions of it this year. The name is Ea Fjatlyokut. Uh, it's named after a volcano in Iceland. We have the standard version that you've had before. We got some pecan wood whiskey barrels from the Thornton Distilling Company up in Thornton. And then we also have some in brandy barrels this year. So we're going to stagger the uh, release. This regular version was going to be our anniversary beer this year, but um, that looks like it's going to be postponed a little bit. But uh, yes, it's Ea Fiatla Yokut. And that, my friends, is why I don't even attempt to say it. I just say, that's a good Russian Imperial Stout. <laughs> well, people call it E15 and all sorts of names. It, may, it's for, it, it brings out a lot of fun. It gives people some creativity. Well, um, we hope that you guys down there are doing well on the Dixie Trail. Um, we like to try and keep these uh, video casts to a sensible size instead of a, an hour and a half podcast. <laughs> we, uh, um, so, uh, Steve, just before we go, tell us how people can get hold of your beer and where you are and a telephone number. Okay. Our number is 708 304 2907. We're closed on Monday, so we're not here today. We're open from 4 to 8, Thursday through Friday, or no, Tuesday through Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're open 1 to 5. You can call and order the beer, and we can bring it out to the curbside. You can bring a growler in. We can fill a growler for you. Or like I said, we can deliver, uh, you know, just we can deliver kegs. Or it's over $50 is the minimum for the delivery. So, um, yeah, 304 2907. Area code 708 is our number. All right. You guys got any more questions for him before he buggers off and fades away into green hell? If you need help cleaning any of that um, green beer decoloration off, let me know. I'm, I got some time. Okay, you know, we're, we're actually, when this is all over, we're going to need some guys with power washers, guys and girls, you know. We don't discriminate. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> just to get green out of here. Right. Ken, what's in that uh, case <laughs> behind you? What's in the That's case behind you? Oh, go on. My give, banjo. Us a, give us a tune. I'm a beginner. <laughs> I still play for myself only. <laughs> One of these I've days. That, I've heard that about Ken. He does like to play with himself. Anyway, uh, with that, I'm going to raise ah, my Jesus. glass <laughs> and say, uh, everybody, keep well, keep safe, stay home. Um, do the five. It's uh, cheers from me. Cheers from me. And then cheers from him. And cheers, Steve. <laughs> All the best. Cheers. All the best, cheers, Steve. Cheers, there you Ken. go. Okay. You got, you got oh, a barrel going there. Cheers. Take care, guys. Good to see you. Take care. Yeah.